Atlanta's only hip hop station, Hot 1079, Empress Cersei, the King of Crew. We're getting ready for Birthday Bash 18, the hottest show of the country. And of course, ATL. We got our folks, one of the ATL zone. That boy been grinding in the A, doing his thing all across the world. We're so proud of him here in the ATL. And uh, he will be headlining Birthday Bash 18. Y'all can show some love. My homie, Two Chains. Yeah. So, boy. What's going on, ATL? Hey, man, we've been worried about you, dog. Yeah, everybody worried about me. I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing good. Yes, doing sir. Fine. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we know, we know you're doing fine. But you know, there've been some stains going on. I hate to jump straight to it, but uh, we just want to. We couldn't even. Because we got to make sure he's straight, man, right now. Everything going so viral and talking about two chain got hurt. We were scared. Well, we asked you. You said you act like you didn't know nothing, Shanika. Nah, Shanika, Shanika, Shanika hit me um, personally, text my phone to make sure I was all right. And I was just like, you know, I just told don't believe all the stories. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, kind of hear from the horse's mouth of what's going on. And see, for me, it was just like me just trying to tell the story one time and be through with it. Get ready for birthday bash. Get ready for this album. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm a blessed individual, you know. People, you know, I was shot at. God, you know, I don't think the surveillance uh, footage actually has any volume and have any noises to it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in San Francisco where I'm very comfortable at. I go there all the time. I love the, I love the atmosphere. I love the scenery. I love the dispensaries. I just love going out there. Um, last week I flew my homies up there because it's just an experience. I flew some of my homies from Atlanta. I was coming from Seattle. Um, so they was probably there a couple of hours before me just chilling, you know, God, so I, you, know and I'm, you know, walking down the street, of course, you can see it on the um, footage. The footage was from like a computer store. One from the place I was going is from like down the street. So you can see the people kind of getting out the car, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, dude ran up like a, I, God, I saw the gun before I saw him, it was like a 357. It was so heavy, he couldn't really hold it. You know, so people were saying he was skipping, like he was, he wasn't, he couldn't hold it. The gun was so big. That's what made me take off running. Like, I know he can't. Right. He can't hold this much, you know what I mean? But it if you look on the first camera like TMZ, it's another dude that was, like, right behind him that, like, my security kind of, like, pushed the gun down. It was another dude that had that black hoodie on that I didn't see when I took off running up the sidewalk, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when I go into the uh, when I go into the street, which I don't even remember doing that, when I went to the street, it was, like, another dude with a whole other gun. That's when I knew it wasn't, it wasn't like, an episode of Punk. I was like, this is real, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when I got back on the sidewalk, I started swerving. So, dudes just started shooting. So, when I was just, like, I don't know if, um, I don't know if the momentum from the shot, because I had, like, uh, bullet fragments in my hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, the p police, when they came, they were just like, what happened here? And they told me don't move. And, you know, I just went, I just left. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. they, they was trying to say that, that my adrenaline was pumping so much that maybe I was shot and didn't know it. But I knew I wasn't shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, G thought I was shot, like A's, they thought I was shot because, you know, I went down as soon as he bust, you know what I'm saying? I think he thought he shot me. Right. Because when he ran up on me, like he ran, he didn't even run, he kind of like started walking, he was breathing hard. He was like, <sighs> you know, I heard him saying that, he was like, where them bands at? And I said, bro, I don't have no bands on me. It didn't make sense. I don't even like have money when I go to this. They give me all the free, you know, right. weed that I want. You know what I'm saying? So he said, give me them, give me them. He's like, give me that. And, you know, so, but during this time, you know, like I dropped my phones out of my pocket. I had like uh, my, my Blackberry. You know what I'm saying? And another iPhone. So when I do, he looking around like, give, give me the man. I don't have no band. So I kind of like put my hand over my head because I thought he was going to try to do me in. And uh, he just took off running and stuff. I had this like, I had a, uh, my jogging pants on that you can see. And I think that's why I failed. It kind of started sagging. And I had on uh, like a vest zip up hoodie. You know what I'm saying? So right. one thing in my pockets was like, like some keys that fell out. Of, you know, they of course didn't use the keys in my phone. And then I had a, a wallet that had a chain on it. And I think that he thought he was snatching my chain. Like, I think he thought he was getting my, because I, I had all my chains on. I had my watch. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's why, I, like, that was at, like, 430. You know, I had a show that night in San Francisco for Summer Jam. So I went, turned up, posted my Instagram pics like I usually do. And it was like, man, we thought you got shot. And so I said, well, you know, that's when I started putting up the rules. Like, if you get shot, I thought you either die or go to the hospital. Right. And so then they was like, you got robbed. And I was trying to say, like, what did I get robbed for? Because when I looked at the footage, I'm thinking, like, I don't even think the dude took my phones. I think they just fell. And then when the police came and started making this crime scene, we was like, let's just get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm like, so, you know, you know, in my, where, where I come from, you know what I'm saying, like the whole robbing thing, like just – you no, know, I figured that dude them thought I was going to freeze when they pulled out the gun, like, and just give me everything, you know what I mean? So when everybody started scattering, what people don't understand is we were, like, 
Imagine if you're in Atlanta, you know where Walters is in Georgia State. Right. But this is downtown San Francisco. It's just it's, it's like Peachtree Street, four lanes. It's an intercontinental hotel across the street. So it was like, it wasn't like, they, you know, TMZ, like my crew was running. Like I was on, I went with 14 people. Downtown was running. I wasn't right. with a lot of people. I right. went with like five or six people. Like the people started around with babies, it was kids, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, I just got up, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't, like, I wasn't hit. Like in my mind, I thought he was shooting in the air. And so, you know, like, you know, G was. Really seen that he was shooting I, I didn't even, till that footage came out, like, one of my friends pulled me to the side of my driver. He didn't want to tell me in front of everybody, like, bro, uh, I'm going to be real with you, bro. Like, like he shot you, bro. He told me, like, a hunting, like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, because G was freaking out, like, he shot you, bro. Because if you look in there, it was a white van. That was my van. They took off and went to go get an ambulance. When they came back, I was standing up. So they was freaking out, like, what happened? So when the police came and all that came, they like, what happened here? We want to talk. I'm just sitting there. And so he was like, oh, you know, oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You got fragment in your hair. This, you know, like it done got real. They start pulling out yellow tape and we need to put you in an ambulance. But I'm standing up. I'm talking. All I'm saying is. And then, you know, what happened was I'm like, gee, find my phones. I think when I'm saying find my phones, they like they thinking the people took my phones off me or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so I'm like, gee, get my phones. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I got, you know, I know everybody. I don't want nobody, you know, digits out and everything. So I'm like, gee, find my phones or whatever. So when, when people, we go to looking on these cars when I'm all in the middle of the street, they say, you can't do that. This is a crime scene. So I see one little cop start clapping like, we need to hurry up and figure out what we're going to do. I said, okay, we figured out. We got in the car and we left. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to figure it out. Cool. You know what I'm saying? So I had flew Doll up and all that. So Doll was like, man, T you already know what this is, man. Let's get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, you know, let's, um, man, let's just go home. I'm like, I can't go home. I got a show tonight. I got a video shoot tomorrow in L.A. I can't, I can't go home. You know, I shot Feds last week with For Real. I had all, everything set up. My right. director from London and stuff. I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, so I go do the show. It's like 20,000 people. So basically I just came out there and just told the whole crowd, can't nobody stop this. Right. Period. Nobody. Turn up. Right. Turn up. Mm -hmm. Nobody can stop this. Nobody can stop birthday bash. Nobody can stop fans is watching. Nobody can stop me. Right. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. So right. boom, you know what I mean? So it's just like all these people like, bro, 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 bro you got robbed. I'm like, what? What did I get robbed? Or like, what? Because I don't, I have everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, so that was the whole thing about me like being in rap when they take, uh, you know, someone's chain or someone's watch, uh, they wear it, then they post it. Right. Then they'd be like, give us this amount of money for your chain. It don't cost that much. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The only thing this dude could do is basically, I guess, um, you know, post my maybe my ID, if that, and maybe, uh, you know, maybe my phone. And I just really got me. I was just really crabbing on the iPhone 5, so I was forced to do that. Mm -hmm. So it kind of was all, you know what I mean? It was all in the game, but it's just part. Like, my instincts kicked in. A lot of stuff started slowing down before I actually – before I got to the, like, green door, I got a little earlier than normal. I don't usually get out right there. And I was going to be like, you know, I got out and G told me, say, tie your shoe up, Tit. And I remember him saying that. And then I remember, like, where's the door? And I was like, it's down there. And I was going to be like, I ought to be bougie and tell him to pull me right up to the front of the door. But I didn't want to be like, I'm, you know, right. bougie. I can walk. It was like, you know, 40 feet. Right. You know what I'm saying? And who knows if I would have pulled up what would have happened because they was actually parked right in front of the place. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was 430. So when the shots went off, you know, it got real, real. So dude came over and, you know, I thought he was going to hit. But when all the gunshots came over, he kind of like, he kind of walked up on me breathing. That's when I knew when he walked up on me, um, like breathing and everything, he started being like, you know, everybody was screaming and stuff. Like, so bro took off. The other car took off. I got up, did the show and just kind of kept moving. But, you know, everything just kept coming out negative. And for me, like, I've been through so much that it doesn't bother me at all. Like, mm. people just mm. all, like, it doesn't bother me at all. It just really lets me know, like, you know, people just, you know, want something to happen to me. But it doesn't bother me. I'm very God-fearing. Y'all know how I kick it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like it was something that could have been way worse. It was a misfortunate accident. I didn't fill out a report. They trying to contact me now about the ballistics, about the bullet in my dreads. I, ain't using, I usually wear my, my braids. They all out. You know what I'm saying? I got my braids. You know what I'm saying? So it's a situation where I didn't, um, you know, like even telling, you know, my girl and everything, what happened, like telling them what happened was a different story from them seeing it. When they seen it, like my, most of my friends, my real partners, they was concerned. Right. Like I had right. a lot of friends that was there that was on the inside that when they came out, they didn't even know it was that serious till they saw the tape because I was just sitting there like, bro, we got, we good. We, 
You know, what I, mean? I was just so I was just so adamant about me being straight and just by me my demeanor. I really don't get like I don't really get surprised. I don't get excited. My stuff is kind of the same way. For, you know, Shanique has known me for mm-hmm. years. You too, sir. I don't really get like overly excited. So I just took it out on the stage. You know right. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Thank God he ain't shoot me. Thank God he ain't kill me. Um, and that's just it. I've been in front of like around guns it before. I think that's just a part of the element that I came from. But you know, seriously, me, you know, I'm I'm coming into a new place in life. You know what I mean? And I'm kind of sort of in denial about me being this two chains, this superstar dude. Like right. I'm in right. denial so about right I'm in road. denial yeah. about people just going crazy when they see me. And, and you know what I'm saying? Especially like in California, I have like so much love in California that I do just walk around reckless you know what i'm saying right yeah i do i you know I, I do walk around reckless in san francisco man they show me so much love. i have like plenty of homies there that was man you know what i mean it's, it's it's thousands of things going on post this incident that that that's out of my hands mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying and it's just it's just it's just the way of the world but for me i'm just excited about life you know what i'm saying i'm so turned up like you can't turn me down like, right you right. can't like Really, like, I don't know. I'm just geeked about life, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I think about it, then, then when I saw the footage, I'm like, it was real. Like, they was on my ass. Right. It like, like the best thing that happened to you. Shot 1079. Fall. Well, I fell after the second shot, and I, I think, like, he shot the second shot. Bro, it was like, a, I don't know if it was some, bro, I just slipped and, like, fell, like, 10 feet. Mm. And like, I and my feet didn't lose, but I know I felt my pants sagging or whatever. But he definitely like was like shooting around his car. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't know if it was the momentum from from the shot or the momentum from me just trying to get the hell out of there. Because when I seen the guns, I'm like, you know, I always be having this like this this. I always have this thing that punk is gonna happen to me one day right. because right. it happens to all stars. Right. And I'm like, they do punk. They have they do it according to the person's personality. I come from the street, so they are gonna try to, you know, what I mean. So I'm always careful about. God, what could happen in stuff like this, you know, I'm being conscious of cameras. But in this case, it was so real. Like, like my cousin, Kat, my security hit the, when he hit the gun, bro, pointed at him. You know what I'm saying? At my security, when he pointed at him, that's when I started getting, trying to get, get, get low. You saw cap, you know what I mean? All that's just getting low. And it was just fortunate at the end of the day that then nobody gets shot downtown mm-hmm. San Francisco. Right. I ain't tripping. Everybody else is more concerned. You know, I'm TMZ is having a great time. When they did it when I went to jail I in uh, so New York. You know what I'm saying? When I got in trouble in uh, New York, they did. And, and that's just that's how they so how they, they said Toon died when he didn't. You know, they just right. kind of have their own thing. They bought the f- they bought the footage from next door, and they kind of, like, put their own thing around it. You know what I'm saying? But right. At the end of the day, when they say, like, you know, your friends ran, it's like they got to realize that, you know, everybody in that whole area ran because it was real. It wasn't a movie. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But right. I don't have any um, – I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any ill habits. I hadn't stopped doing anything that I normally do. I still go uh, to the studio every night. I'm still – but there's some things that I need to change on my end, too, as far that as, like, you know, surrounds it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's just something that was going to happen eventually. So this was a sign, bro. That's all it was. Mm-hmm. I don't feel – I don't – I mean – I am come from this. I'm not I'm not tripping. I don't think nobody should be tripping on me. I appreciate everybody that supported. Like I had so many homies call me that I was like, that's what's up, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the same ones that called me, I had the same ones that was like, you know, who Ray. You know what I'm saying? They shot at your ass or whatever. You know right. What I'm saying? But, you don't have that. When but successful. like I tell my, my daughter, then when you fall, you're supposed to get back up. And that's exactly what I did. And I killed they stage and I did LA the next day. And I I'm love going it. back again soon. My so do that do that kind of speak to Really, like, how far you've come and how bigger you've gotten? Because they say, like, the more money, the more problem. You kind of in a different echelon. You feel like you got, like, a target on your back? Like, well, is that the negative downside to being so God, successful and being so big now? Well, when you um become this entertainer you, with this star, people don't realize how much you give up. You know what I'm saying? You get a lot. You get everything. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, if I want to, it's hard for me to really buy, you know, shoes. They give them to you. They, they give you everything. But they don't right. understand what you have to give up. Right. I give up a lot of privacy. I give up a lot of uh, dates, like as far as people knowing where I'm gonna be before I even get there. Right. You know what I'm I just give up. I give up a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just about me just smarting, smarting up, and just realizing that everybody, I guess, ain't happy for my success. It's just normal. It's just mm-hmm. the way of the world. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be some. Literally, it could be somebody downstairs right now. This time of the day, this is exactly what it was like downstairs. Down here, right now, it could be somebody down there with two guns ready, and it, it is just and, and everybody is scattered the same way. Right. But if don't nobody get hurt, what am I supposed to do? Like not be? I've been sleeping good. I, I don't have any like I don't know like whatever it was supposed to do. As far as affect me, only thing it made me do was have another meaning about getting you know better security and everything like that around right, me. And then you right. know at this particular point, I was so excited about my friends being on the inside that I was taking the lead. I usually be in the middle. I usually be you know. 
you know, but I'm so like, you know, a lot of times the people that work for me just let me do what the hell I want to do just because of how I am anyway. And right, I'm not really right. reckless. You know, I don't, you know, my kind of rap style, my rap style is more about being flamboyant, inspiration. Come, It's not about F the other side too much, too much. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, and you, we, know, you know, we, we're just really glad that you're okay, man. To be honest with you, and I, and I normally would never start an interview just off the rip like but this, we had but to because get it out the way so because worried it's just, about you, bro. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the footage, I looked at it about, I broke it down because I have footage from, some other angle too, just for my personal use. And then I had, cause I had footage before everybody had it. I had the footage before TMZ had it. You know what I'm saying? Because the people there wanted me to let them know that they ain't had nothing to do. So I had footage before that came out. And I was able to just see how the Lexus came like maybe two hours before I got there and left. Came 15 minutes before I got there. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they kind of like came an hour after my boys went. So I just feel like it was just some things. With, like it was maybe somebody on the inside or somebody just looking at like. Because in that particular area, you rarely see like. You you know when people not from around now, basically. You know what I'm right. saying? It's like if you've seen some people. You know, we're you know, predominantly black downtown or whatever. We've seen some, you know, whatever. Looking people, whatever, we'll be on something. So I think it was just like we just like all look like we some country boys and stuff. We all look like we going to get seven, high and stuff, like, right, you know what right, I'm saying, or whatever right. it was. But for me, it was just about me showing my homies a good time and experience. They ain't even they they was they was inside when it all happened. And then for me, you know, what I mean, it was just about showing them like when the show start when the show started. I was like, dog, this is why I couldn't leave. Like this was it was in Oracle Arena. It was twenty thousand people. We couldn't mm. even like it was like. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? We only, I rarely do clubs and stuff now. You know what I mean? Just to show you why, what happened as far as like jokes and all that. Right, right, I right. learned, I learned, a, I learned a lesson. But just as far as me, like, um, you know, putting out statements and stuff on, on on Twitter, I was just basically, you know, sticking up for the fact that, you know, I don't think they were trying to rob me. Uh, they really was just busting at me like on some real stuff. You know what I mean? And then at the end of the day, it's just like, it's just a part of of me. Growing as an artist, me becoming yeah. more popular, me becoming a superstar. I think, you know, a few people been shot at before, but it's just, you know, it's just yeah. a fortunate incident. And I, f- I feel if I would have just stayed there and froze, and it probably went through my pocket. Right. Probably would have made me take my shoe off, do something crazy. But realistically, you, <laughs> I got you up don't out of there. Yeah, realistically, we, we don't know. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And so, you know what I mean? It's a blessing that one, the first dude had a gun so heavy he couldn't hold it. And second dude, he knew how to hold that thing. He was holding that thing. He knew what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? But just for me, you know what I mean? I just feel like I'm 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 just anointed, man. I'm just protected. Yeah, man. something something special right. there. Yeah, something special in here man. listening to you talk yeah, about it. Yeah, man. It's deep because my, my one of my friends, like, I I'm not gonna say his name, but like he's having a hard time with it because like it was simultaneously with the shots of me going down and then having all the fragments in my hair. It's like how like you got some strong hair, fool. You know what I'm saying, or right. <laughs> whatever. You know what I mean. So that was just close. You know what I mean. I have two little girls. I got a mom. I got you know what I mean. So right. it's serious, but it's not that serious. And, and you just know I'm not gonna turn down. I'm not gonna turn down off this incident at all. Right. Well, I'm, I'm gonna not... turn up more. I'm gonna make people. If you got mad for whatever I've been doing, you're about to get even more upset with me. Mm-hmm. And next time that's some. Next time something like that happens, it's somebody's gonna get hurt, and it's not gonna be anybody on my team. Right. And I, I can already know that this is gonna be a super special Father's Day yeah. because of everything that's happened. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get so much love on Sunday, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have. A- Probably get in the pool and cook or something. Do something fun. Okay. But, All right. Well, we got you know, a lot we to got, talk we about. Gotta we got to worry about. We got to worry about the day before Father's Day. We got a that's lot right. of things yes, going sir. on. Yes, sir. And that's coming up. My boy Two Chains up in here. We're going to chop it up. We got to talk about Birthday Bash 18, the hottest show of the summer. We got to talk about everything that he's got going on. So it's a, it's a lot, man. So Two Chains in the building. Y'all keep it locked. South 1079. Yeah.